Standby. All right, for this standby, I'm excited to share with you a little bit about the acoustics of a shower. Why does it sound so good when you sing in a shower? Dude. Now, I'm not actually a good singer at all, but I do like singing in the shower from time to time. And there's really two reasons, two reasons, two reasons that make singing in the shower sound better. One is what you call sort of the reverberation, right? Or reverb. The other is resonance. Now I'm here in this like hotel bathroom, okay? And you can see the walls are covered with tile. Hard things reflect sound. So the sound bounces off these walls, right? So that's where this first idea of, of reverb comes in. So when a sound is made, that sound waves can bounce off this wall and off that wall and off that wall. And, and if there's no surface to absorb the sound, the sound will keep bouncing all around. So you can actually hear in my voice right now, it sounds kind of echoey. So you can illustrate this idea of reverb really clearly by just creating like a, a sudden loud noise, like clapping your hands. So let me do that a second. If I were to do that in a larger space, like inside the hotel room itself, so there's the kids and the wife, hello. hello. You'll already hear my voice sounds very different, and if I clap my hands, All right, but in here, you can tell my voice just sounds different. So that reverb helps make things sound better, right? You can hear your own voice, you can hear lots of things. Okay, now there's also this shower, and this is what I wanna show you in particular. The shower is an extremely small space that's completely covered with tile, and so it is very reflective, and this is a great space to illustrate this idea of resonance. So uh, lots of things resonate. In fact, anything can resonate, including empty space. Now, I'm going to do that by singing some different notes. All right, And you should be able to hear when it's resonating. Now, forgive me, I'm not a good singer, but hopefully you can hear this okay. I'm going to start by singing a note that does not resonate, and then I'm going to slide the pitch down until I find the resonance. And you should be able to hear it vibrate in a sort of a deeper way. Okay, you ready? Okay, I didn't hear it that time. Let me try again. I can't do it, Laura. All right, this is ridiculous. You can tell? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Right, so there's two notes. The low one is resonating, the high one is not. I'm singing them both at the same volume, but the low one, since it resonates, it sounds way louder. Okay, so what's literally happening, right, is the sound wave is bouncing off this wall and then off this wall and off this wall, and if I find just the right frequency to sing at, it builds a huge standing wave and causes the whole space to vibrate. So when you're normally singing inside, a shower, you're getting the reverb because the sound's bouncing all over the place, but at particular frequencies, you also get this resonance to happen. And that causes a really rich, deep sound that fills the whole space. So it's a cool thing, right? Two things, both physics, make singing in the shower sound particularly good. Stand by.